everybody today I am showing you a haul I just did I am on vacation in Bemidji Minnesota and I know that's kind of random but I'm here and I live in Ohio but I thought it'd be cool to go they have a TJ Maxx here and a Dollar Tree so I thought it'd be cool to go and see if they had anything different than what I have back at home which they definitely did like I've got 10 11 12 13 14 I have 14 different nail polishes to show you and I might have more because I might go uh, I might go again to TJ Maxx and Dollar Tree before we leave but I'm just gonna go ahead and show you everything that I got also today I am having a lot of drama with one of my family members so it was really hard to kind of come together and you know I was reading this Elizabeth Taylor quote that I love and it kind of like got me to where I'm at right now to be able to do this video it's something like put your lipstick on pour a drink and pull yourself together and I just I thought of that and I was like okay yeah I'm gonna do a video today because I've planned on doing this all day today and you know it was about to not happen because I have like I said I have a lot of drama going on I really wanted to shoot this video for you guys it's something I've been really excited about and wanted to show you so I'm gonna go ahead and get into it I hope you like I hope you like my fake flowers right here um we're staying with my boyfriend's grandpa and so thing it's like traveling back to the 50s in his house but I thought you'd like this little centerpiece I have for you back here anyways so I got this at TJ Maxx this is a two-pack from OPI it was $7.99 and it says compare at $17 so that was cool I got I think these are from the Muppets collection this is called Kermit Me to Speak and it's kind of like this olive green metallic and it has a little bit of purple in it I thought it was really interesting I don't own any colors like that there is a swatch isn't it funny I brought a swatch with me it broke off right here but I brought a swatch with me because I knew that I'd be finding I just there's there was an instinct in me that knew I would find some polishes here that I don't normally find at home but anyways this came with that two pack and it says Muppet, Muppets World Tour and it's just kind of like a glitter topper a silver glitter topper I'm not really excited about this because I feel like I own other stuff like this but it's it's nice there's a swatch of it I feel like this would be more appropriate as a topper instead of on its own and it has kind of that matte feel it kind of reminds me of Zoya's like there's their ultra pixie dust so that was cool these came together I'm, I'm really interested in this color because I don't own anything like this and I thought it'd be really cool for the fall so I guess I'll just go ahead and show you all the OPIs that I found this one was $3.99 and at TJ Maxx all their OPIs I've noticed are $3.99 and this is called Taylor Blue now I don't know if this is like Taylor Swift or not like I don't know what collection this came out of but I don't own any colors like this so I thought this would be really nice here's a swatch of it this is two coats right here and I kind of feel like it needs a third one it may not show so well on here but I can kind of see through the the nail nail swatch all right so the next polish that I have is a Nicole by OPI and this is nice to see I don't think I've ever seen this at home or any of this kind of brand this is called girl talk and this was $2.99 it's kind of it looks brown but it's I mean it is brown but it has a little bit of red in it it looks kind of burgundy I love these kind of colors I love brown nail polish I think it's really sophisticated I don't know a lot of people who like brown nail polish but I, I really like it I saw this brand and they had one other nail polish and it was like a red color it's called Vernice Classique by Sheramoya and I've never heard of this it was $1.99 and it's kind of this coppery brown metallic color so I thought I'd give it a try I might go back and get another one because I liked this formula a lot but there's a swatch of it and like I said it was only $1.99 I don't know if anybody's ever heard of this or tried it before so I thought I would try that now this next one I'm really really excited to tell you about because I've never ever had a Butter London and at this TJ Maxx they had so much Butter London they even had some of their lippies which I will show you I'm gonna do a separate haul of like the makeup and stuff that I found this one is just specifically for the nail polish but um, I found a lot of butter London and I don't own any butter London 
but this caught my eye this what is this called this is called sun baker isn't that so pretty it's like the perfect fall i gotta get that off like i i'm gonna take that home and like <laughs> i hate stickers and like sticky stuff but it's like the perfect fall orange metallic i don't own anything like this and i don't see much of this color anywhere so i got really excited i bought this on like the very first day we were here for some reason i thought that this was like a travel size i didn't think it was the actual full size and this was 4.99 and i was like i know these are usually like 15 dollars at ulta but i was like i'm not gonna pay 5.99 for a travel size but it's 0.4 ounces and I'm, this is the full size it just looks bigger on youtube so in my mind, I, I thought it would be a lot bigger than this. So, in short, I went back and I got some more. Alright, so I went back yesterday and I got this color. I got all the Butter Londons that I saw because I had put this on my nails and it the, the formula was like a dream. It was amazing. So, hello? Um, okay, so I got this color called Trustafarian, sorry, and it's this, like, sage green holographic, and I don't own any colors like this, so I grabbed this up. It's really pretty. The formula is a little bit thin. It's not showing up very well. Uh, next I have from Butter London. I have four Butter Londons in total. This is called the Old Bill. And it's kind of a coppery metallic polish oh i hate that so much i hate stickers here is a swatch right here and i don't own anything like this so it was nice to pick up a polish in a color i don't own from a brand i don't own love this formula um i'll talk about that again now because this is what i'm wearing on my nails this is butter london's bramble and it's a deep plummy purple and the formula did not disappoint. This is on my nails. I don't know how to describe the formula. It just goes on so smoothly and butter, buttery. Maybe that's why it's called Butter London. I don't know. But I, I'm really, really impressed with the formula. Now, I wouldn't pay $15 for it unless, you know, I had a lot of money to spend. But on sale, it's awesome. I was fine with paying $5 for it. So I got four of these polishes for $20. So I was lucky. And I also got... Like I said, I got two of their lippies, and I got their highlight, which I'll talk about in my other video. I didn't even hear you come in here. Did you open the door a second ago? No, that was you. Somebody opened the, or the wind opened the door. I'm like, hello? <laughs> Alright, so the next polish that I have is an Orly, and this is the first Orly I've ever bought. I don't own any because I just, I don't know, I always kind of overlook them. This is called Pixie Powder. It's so pretty. It's like a purple micro glitter. It was only $3.99. I can't wait to get this sticker off. I hate that so much. I, when I was painting the swatch on last night, I really, really like the handle. It's kind of rubbery, and it's got these grips on it. They had other orderlies there, but they were they were creams, and which I would have preferred to have tried a cream out first, but they had like nail polish all running down the side, and it was clearly used, so I just kind of steered clear of that but there's a swatch of it of it i'm definitely interested in trying more of these i always see a lot of girls who are like yeah i never tried orly and i love it but i don't know it's like the bottle doesn't interest me something about it is just kind of like boring and bland to me that i just i kind of skip over it i don't know i'm just i'm weird about how a bottle looks and you know a brand is exciting or it's not. And an Orly just doesn't excite me. And I feel the same way about Essie. They also had a lot of Essie nail polishes there, which they sell for $3.99. And I just, I don't know, something about it just doesn't excite me the way uh, an OPI or a Zoya or a Butter London or a China Glaze, which I'm going to show you now. Um, I have a China Glaze haul coming up. I ordered about six polishes from Ulta because they had it buy one get one free which is awesome because it's hard I mean I haven't really experienced any China Glaze sales personally and I'll be honest with you I tried China Glaze last year around Christmas I bought one of their nail polishes and I had to return it it was that bad like I, I don't I'm not a person who likes to return 
used cosmetics or anything but it was such a terrible formula it just chipped right off my nails so I was just I, I mean I since then I was kind of like I'm not interested in trying to glaze but I always see that they have so many different colors such a huge variety and it's like hard to it's hard not to get them but anyways, I saw these on sale at TJ Maxx for $2.99, and I was like, what the heck? I just ordered some for, like, basically $3.25 a piece from Ulta, so I was like, I might as well, I might as well get them. This is called Kinetic Candy, and it's this really pretty pastel blue, and I'm pretty sure I saw Karina Kaboom, who I love. She's, like, my hero on YouTube. Um, I'm pretty sure I saw her talk about this in one of her videos and her really liking this. Which, painting it on the swatch, it was amazing. This right here is one coat. Like, this is a one coater. I'm, I was really, really impressed with the formula on this. And it's not really, like, a fall polish, but I, I definitely want to try this and see how it works because it, it was amazing swatched. As was the next one I'm going to show you. This is called Laced Up, and it's just kind of a, a mid-tone bubblegum pink. And it was two dollars. It was clearance, so it was like a dollar less than normal. They had Don't Mesa with my heart, which I wanted, but these were so similar. And the other one, Don't Mesa with my heart, was two ninety nine. So I'm like, I'll just get this one and save the dollar. This is also one coat. Amazing formula from swatching it. I'm definitely really interested in trying this out. It was either I was gonna wear this today. Or the Butter London, but I thought for the sake of bragging about Butter London, I would wear the Butter London. And plus, it's fall time. So, I'm definitely really excited to get, to go home and get my Ulta haul for these. And I'll put up a video of that and show you all the um, China Glaze that I got. Because I don't own any. Well, I didn't own any until I got these two. Alright, so my last two polishes are from the Dollar Tree. And they are Milani polishes. Which I already opened to swatch, but here they are in the package. This one says high speed fast dry one coat formula, which is it's kind of sheer, so I don't know why they call it one coat. And it's called Blue Zoom. But it's this really, really pretty like neon blue, Pacific blue color, which I don't own. I own blues, like dark ink blue, but I don't own anything that's this bright. So I was excited to see this. I think this this needs about three coats because it's still a little bit uh, thin on here. I can I can still see through it, but it's really pretty. I'm excited to wear this. And then my last polish is Milani, and I also took it out, like I said. And I was really, really impressed with this. I love this kind of glitter. I love this multicolor glitter. It's got... Just every single color glitter you can think of. There's green, red, pink, silver, gold. It's just so pretty. I love this. And this was good on one coat. Like, if you wanted to just wear this as a topper. But right here I have it as two coats. So you could wear this with just, just by itself. Did I already tell you what this is called? It's called Gems. 530 Gems. So pretty. So if you see this at your Dollar Tree, I would highly suggest to getting to getting it to get it. All right. So that's the end of my haul. There might be I might cut into like a second part of this if I go back and get some more nail polishes. I'm kind of interested in getting another polish from this Vernus Class Seek because it was only $1.99, and I'm I'm wondering if this is you know a good polish or not. I've never heard of it, but um. I think I'm going to go back to the Dollar Tree and get some more nail polish. They had some Maybelline Color Show, but they looked really, really settled. And they weren't colors that I just, they weren't anything that I, I was interested in. But I hope you liked it. I had so much fun shopping. I was really, really excited to share this with you guys. Like I said, today has been kind of like uh, drama.com from one of my family members. And that's just the worst. Like I was not having a good day to start out with. But I'm feeling better now. I'm glad. I like. I'm. I'm really happy to have shared this haul with you guys. I've really been looking forward to it, and I will see you in my next video. If you want to see what I got 
from TJ Maxx and the Dollar Tree. I got some stuff from home and then I also have some stuff from Bemidji. So be looking for that video and I will see you next time. Bye! So much drama today has me drinking and it's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon.